Now news for exclusive. It's called the Money Room, a secret location where the MTA sorts the stacks of cash it gets for your rides. Few cameras have ever been allowed inside the Money Room until now. At one time, the cash was transported on trains in secret tunnels. That once inspired a movie. News for us, Andrew Siff introduces us to the man in charge of the Money Room who is cashing out, retiring. It all adds up. Verified, counted, and sent to the bank. For Al Poutre, calling it a career after three decades on the job. You haven't seen me this much in 30 years, I know. As New York City Transit's chief revenue officer, he's a familiar face to bus and subway aficionados who learned the name of the system replacing the Metro card, Omni, from Poutre trying to coin a phrase. It's Omni time! It's Omni time! His signature style even inspired the Robert Blake character in the 1995 movie The Money Train. Nothing stops the money train. Nobody messes with my money train. In real life, he's made sure nobody messes with the money room, like the MTA's version of Fort Knox. Well, this place was built around Federal Reserve standards, and pre pandemic, we processed, you know, over a billion dollars a year here. News Four got an exclusive look inside today. The secret location in Queens. The money arrives by armored truck from station metro card machines and buses across the city. The pre pandemic haul was $35 million a week. It plummeted below $10 million a week, but lately it's bouncing back. Talk about coins that add up. This pile of quarters adds up to $50,000. Just a slice of all the currency inside the MTA's secret money room. They can count 31 bills per second and 10,000 coins per minute. What goes through your mind when you're handling all this money? To make sure it's counted right. As for Poutre, he's been counting down the days. And after a career stretching back to 1987, tomorrow is his final ride. This is the end of the line for you. Last stop. He helped the nation's largest transit system transition from the token, the Metro card, to contactless Omni. Fewer bills and coins each time. But even though he's leaving, he'd like to think. There's still plenty of folks that like to use cash. The money room is forever. Andrew Siff, News <laughs> for New York.